in America today, there's still wide disparities between blacks and whites, between Hispanics and whites, wide disparities between rich and poor. But the real question is, what do we do now? How do we rebuild America? How do we rebuild an economy that provides opportunity for all? The Urban League report speaks to that. In a democratic system, and America is proudly a democratic system, the process of voting determines who sits at the table to write the laws that affect schools, who sits at the table to uh, create economic and jobs policy for the nation. So in saying let's occupy the vote, what we're saying is, is that we have to be at the democratic table if uh, we're going to have a voice when it comes to schools, when it comes to housing, when it comes to jobs, when it comes to things that are so essential as we try to rebuild this nation. I think the paradox is, is at a time when people are erecting barriers to democracy, uh, new laws which make it more difficult for people to vote, voter ID laws, cutting back on early voting, elimination of uh, same-day registration in a number of states, uh, some of the very same forces uh, are leading, if you will, an attack on support for schools, support for uh, young people, the safety net that protects many of our citizens, particularly women. We outline an eight-point plan, which is focused on education and workforce development, if you will, job training, if you will. And when you combine it with our 12-point jobs plan, uh, the Urban League, in effect, has created uh, a comprehensive plan to rebuild this nation to rebuild this nation's urban communities coming out of the recession.